Welcome back to The Dude's Kitchen, and if it's your first time here, remember to subscribe and ring that bell for notification. In this episode, I got permission from my friends over at The Grill Dads to do a copycat recipe. Now, you know The Grill Dads from the Food Network. They're also on Hulu. Uh, one of them happens to live here really close in town. Super nice guys. I'll put a link down below to their YouTube channel and up here as well. Thank you, Mark and Faye, for allowing me to do this. What we're doing in this episode is we're doing an Italian sausage in carbonara. Now in their episode, they use the spicy, but I'm using sweet. We're also gonna cook up some shallots. So let's get this started. We start with our sausages. I'm just gonna lay them in like that. Put some EVO over them and put them down on the Weber kettle. The sausages have been on the Weber kettle for about 15 minutes. I'm just going to remove them. They're not done yet. Just remove them though, because what we want is the fat that's in there. So we're just going to take some shallots. And just start cutting them up. And we're just going to add the shallots to the to the pan here that's got the fat in it. Get the shallots to work with me. Perfect, give them a good stir. We want the shallots to be translucent, so we're gonna put them back on the Weber and cook them down. So our sausage, we just wanna do a rough cut on them. All right, nothing crazy. Just about perfect. That is perfect. We're gonna put these off to the side because now we're gonna start on our carbonara sauce. For our carbonara sauce, we start with two eggs. We're gonna add in about a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Now I'm just gonna eyeball this, no big deal. And some salt. You could add pepper to this if you'd like, no big deal. But I'm out of pepper. I'm gonna whisk it up for now. We're not done with this yet because we're gonna add in some of our pasta water. For our pasta, we're using a tri-colored rotini. Throw a bunch down. Give it a good stir. Let it cook down. With our onions translucent, now we're just gonna pour in a little bit of dry wine. Now I'm gonna do about half a cup. We're just gonna let this kind of deglaze a little bit, and then it's time to add our sausage back in. It's been about three minutes. Our wine's starting to deglaze, so I'm gonna just gonna add in our sausage. Got a couple runaways, no big deal. We'll make sure they get into the mix. And then we're gonna add our pasta in. So I have here about a half a cup of our pasta water. I'm just gonna pour it in here. Perfect. All right, we're gonna let this sit for a bit, off to the side, and take care of our pasta. Our sausage and shallots are done. We're gonna put it into a bigger pan. Scrape out all the, the shallots. We're gonna pour in our pasta. Give it a nice mix. 
and our, and our carbonara, remember that from earlier? Just lay that on there. And what I like about this is the heat from the pasta and the sausage is gonna cook that egg in there. You can already see it happening. Oh, it looks so good. All right, we're gonna cap this for a little bit and let it finish in there. And we have basil to cut up. So really, we're just gonna cut our basil up, right? No big deal. This is gonna go over the top, that and some Parmesan. Oh, look at that. Just perfect. All right, let's check on our food. Damn near, here's damn near our finished product. Look at that. Our cheese is melted in there. Oh, if you could smell this. Absolutely amazing. Let's plate it up. Add a little basil to it. You know you want some, right? Sprinkle a little Parmesan over the top. I wanna to thank the Grill Dads for this idea because this looks absolutely amazing. I can hardly wait to try it. Mmm. Wow. Everything, and I mean everything comes to, together on this. The sausage, the Parmesan, you put some basil on there, oh hell yeah. All right guys, the recipe's down below. Once again, I wanna thank the Grill Dads for this idea. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time on the Dude's Kitchen.